Hello Fermion friends, today we're excited to announce Spin 2.0, that's a major release of Spin. Uh, we've got three big families of features in this release. We've got some polyglot programming coming out, we've got some massive improvements in performance, and again, portability continues to be the headline story for WebAssembly. So let's talk about polyglot programming. What is polyglot programming? Well, in its roughest sense, it's being able to choose the language that you want to write your particular uh, library or chunk of an application in and be able to use that with code written in other languages. So for example, we might say, I want to write this piece in Go, this piece in TypeScript, this piece in Python, this piece in Rust, and link them all together and build one application. Spin 2.0 uses the new WebAssembly component model in order to make it possible for you to write a component in, say, Go, and link into it uh, and use it in TypeScript as if it was written in TypeScript. Or uh, same thing with Rust, you know, build a library in Rust, uh, import it into your TypeScript or Go program, and it feels like you're using a native library written in TypeScript or Go. So this is what makes polyglot programming very profoundly powerful, and we are so excited about it because we think it will change the way that you develop applications. Now, this uses the WebAssembly component model, which has been in spin for quite a while, but this is the first time we've exposed the developer tools to you so that you can begin building your own components. Performance has always been a big deal to us. You know, we talk a lot about, you know, the 200 millisecond startup time that you would see with Amazon Lambda or Azure functions and how we've wanted to push the boundaries. We have been running spin at about one millisecond of cold startup time. And that is pretty awesome when compared to 200 to 500 milliseconds. But our story has been, we want to be able to scale from zero to tens of thousands of instances nearly instantly, and then scale back down as fast as possible. And so for us, one millisecond was not fast enough. So we have worked hard, uh, both upstream in Wasm time and in spin locally to cut that down to 500 nanoseconds. That's 500 nanoseconds from a cold start to when your code is running. Finally, portability has always been the kind of marquee feature of WebAssembly. And we've talked a lot about how you should be able to write your WebAssembly code once, regardless of operating system or CPU architecture, and be able to run it on any other host CPU or operating system. And now we're happy to say, you know, the same thing is true with GPUs. GPUs, of course, absolutely necessary if you're going to be doing a lot of today's LLM and generative AI work. And so, uh, as you saw previewed in our earlier release, you can now write serverless AI with spin and it's portable across operating system, CPU, and now GPU. That means locally you can develop on say a Mac OS M2 with Metal and then deploy it to Windows running on Intel with uh, CUDA architecture or off into Fermion Cloud where you don't even have to know what we're running. So with that, those are kind of the three big marquee features for Spin 2.0. If you wanna get started, go to developer.fermion.com spin. Talk to y'all later.